Hey guys, welcome to Multifamily Mondays. Today's topic is talking about the four letter F word. And for those of you who have a potty mouth like me, no, it's not that word. But today I'm excited to bring in a new guest. So with that in mind, I hope you enjoy it, okay? Here we go. Hey guys, this is Multifamily Monday with Michael. I'm a guest on the Create Wealth Network. Today I wanna to talk about the four letter word that is fear. And, you know, I've seen this so many times in, in different meetup groups, different seminars, weekend retreats, whatever. And you, you kind of, the, the speaker, or the host of the seminar will say, oh, like, good to see you, so-and-so. And they've been going there for five years. And maybe they've gone to the same seminar five times. And they usually ask them, hey, have you closed a deal yet? Have you started anything yet? And the person who's been there five times or the same seminar for five years and well, no, I'm still, you know, waiting for the right deal. And what's, what's really happening there is, is fear. They're held back by fear. And um, they have that initial thought. They, they're, they don't want to be complacent. They want to improve where they are. And they're getting all the knowledge they need to move forward. But it's that fear that's holding them back. And, and maybe that's where you are today is you're dipping your toe in. You're, you see where you are. You see where your friends and family are. And you know that you can go farther, do better, you want to do better for yourself and your family, and you're learning the tools to how to do that, but the biggest thing may be holding you back is fear. So how do you, how do you combat that? And that's, that's the biggest stumbling block, I think, for most people. And really, it's just challenge yourself every day to do one thing towards your goal that may be intimidating. And, you know, one of the things for me was um, reaching out to agents and, and calling in new markets. And I think just doing that one thing, even knowing that it's going to suck and it's not going to be good the first five times, like my fi first five cold calls were super awkward and I didn't get any information out. They could clearly tell I was a newbie. But after those first five calls, at least by the time I got to where I wanted to close on a deal, I at least came across more comfortable, more confident, and less fearful. And, and so that's why I really encourage you guys is to just take progressive small steps in your fear. This isn't going to be something you're going to overcome overnight. It is every day, do one thing out of your comfort zone, and it'll get you slightly closer to that goal. And here's another four letter F word that goes along with it that's going to make things easier for you. Just the number five, F-I-V-E, right? Four letter F word five. Dedicate five minutes a day, literally just five minutes a day towards achieving your financial freedom goal, whatever that may be. Is it calling an agent? Is it reading a blog? Is it listening to this channel? Is it signing up for a workshop or a seminar? Is it networking with someone? That's what I wanna share with you is that when you break it up into little steps like this, you will be able to reach your goals much faster because it's less overwhelming. So let's just say you spent five minutes today watching this. Great, thanks. Now tomorrow, maybe your five minutes will be spent on reading a chapter or a couple pages in a new book that you have. Continue to do that. Just so perhaps you wanna pick a state that you wanna look into. So maybe today, five minutes after this, you're going to look into, I don't know, Ohio or something. Well, guess what? Ohio has a lot of counties and cities. Where do you want to go? Well, maybe tomorrow, spend some five minutes or more on where you want to be. And then the day after that, the five minutes could be identifying five agents that you can call and to get to know. And I know people say cold calling a lot, but I like to call it warm calling. Approach it warmly so it won't be as cold calling, be yourself, be friendly. And, you know, I believe in honesty. If you need to be transparent, tell them, hey, I'm new at this, but I'm going to buy property. What do you have going on in this market? It's a great way to start a conversation, right? Don't be afraid to fail. You're going to get a lot of no's, a lot of people not uh, caring about you, not answering your inquiries, but don't let it stop you there. Continue your journey. So when you break it down into five steps or five minutes, the number of five, it makes things easier instead of feeling overwhelmed. And that's what I do daily. I want to encourage you to act. I think that's the most important part. Even if everything is not perfect, even if you don't have everything in front of you, just 
move forward, whatever it may be, to get towards your financial freedom goal. And just dedicate five minutes a day. And if you're already watching this channel and learning from this channel, chances are you've gone over the biggest hurdle, which is getting your mindset ready to learn and ready to grow. So continue on from that. Don't let it stop you. And if you feel overwhelmed, break it down into five steps. So with that in mind, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment below. Let us know what are your common fears or what are some of the fears that you overcame when you were first starting or that you're working on right now in real estate. We can't help you much on fears in other areas, but in real estate, we're here to try to help motivate you and get you to where you want to be. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't checked out our website, go to www.letsgocreatewealth.com. You'll have a wealth of resources there to learn from. Take care and let's go create wealth. I'll see you soon.